Hi there, it's Bill with Smart Trades with another live update on Wednesday the 4th. Um, quick look at the S&P. Uh, looks like it's carved out uh, five waves up after all. And uh, we're very close to a, a potential Elliott Wave target around the 1059 area. Uh, the high so far, 5850. And there's another interesting level is 50% retracement of the entire move down off of the... Uh, off of the highs so far, and that comes in around 1062 with uh, another high swing high here around 1064. So, anyway, long story short, it looks like uh, we have five waves up one, two, three, four, and then potentially uh, five. We could go a little bit higher here, carving out some small subdivisions, but we should get a little bit of a correction off of that perhaps down to fill this gap. And that gap comes in around 1042. Coincidentally, that's a 50% retracement of this up move. Uh, that's an interesting little piece of symmetry if indeed we, we peak near the 50% level of the move down. And I'll compress the chart a little bit here. To your view, here's a, you know the market. The s and is hitting our resistance targets and failing a few uh, weeks back. And then the five waves down from there. And again, here's 50%, and here's the 62% uh, retracement level, about 1070. That'd be a nice target for a C if it plays out. But let's take things one step at a time again. One, two, three, four, five. One equals five around 1059. And we're at, uh, so far the highs are 5850. That's close enough. We'll call it a hit. And look for a little bit of a pullback here shortly down to the. Uh, 50% retracement around 10.42. Doesn't have to stop right there. Could go a little lower. Doesn't have to get there. But that's a, a target at this point. So we'll see how it goes. Thanks. Bye-bye.